Hi Preschool and We Care friends, it's Mrs. Newman again and I'm so excited to see you today. I hope you played outside. It's such a beautiful day and I also really want you to know we miss you and hope to see you so soon. Take care of yourselves. Two Eyes, a Nose, and a Mouth by Roberta Grobel in Trader. You can tell this is one of my favorite books. It's been well loved. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. They're the first things that we see. On millions and millions of faces from Tibet to Tennessee. Some eyes are shaped like almonds. Others are big and round. And what about the eyebrows? Why, all, ki all kinds can be found. Noses can be short and wide or turn out long and bumpy. Some are small and curve up, and some are kind of lumpy. When it comes to mouths, it's plain to see. The variety is just fine. Some have lips that are full and broad, while others are thin as a line. Isn't it amazing how changing a feature or two makes millions and millions of faces, yet no one looks just like you. Imagine how dull the world would be if everyone looked like you and me. Over and over we'd see the same face till we'd wish for another to take its place. How lucky we are. The world isn't that way. Our differences make us special, wouldn't you say? Thanks for listening. The Napping House by Audrey and Don Wood. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there's a granny, a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be? A wakeful flea. On a slumbering mouse. On a snoozing cat. On a dozing dog. On a dreaming child. On a snoring granny. On a cozy bed. In a napping house. Where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. Who scares the cat. Who claws the dog. Who thumps the child. Who bumps the granny. Who breaks the bed. In the napping house where no one now is sleeping. 
Thanks for listening, friends. We hope to see you soon.